evening, y'all. Welcome to Unity. Our first annual revival.
center for spiritual awakening where we recognize God as life, love, and the ground of all being. And we celebrate God by living fully, by loving lavishly, <laughs> and by being all that we can be. And we're so grateful. I was sitting down on the stoop a little bit a few minutes ago, and I was just thinking, for this I have come. For this I have come. This is ministry. Thank you. Are you ready to be revived? Yeah. Are you ready to feel the power of the Holy Spirit quicken within you? Somebody said, already. I already felt it. Come on, somebody give me an amen. Amen. Yeah, we're going to have a good time tonight. We're going to have a good time tonight. Now, we have people here from all over the region. We have people here from South Carolina. We have people here from Florida. All over Georgia. Yeah, Georgia. Come on, Georgia. Yeah. Come here, Florida. Little bird. Alabama. We got some Alabama. This is our ministerial coordinator, Becky Barbie, and she was responsible for the meal that we had. Somebody asked her, what do you do at Unity? She says, I do everything that Reverend Dale does at once a <laughs> And I'm so grateful for that. <laughs> Thank you. I'm grateful that everybody's here. Was there any place that we left out? Alabama, North South Carolina, Georgia. Florida. Florida. Yeah. Florida. Yeah. Massachusetts. Yeah. Massachusetts. Y'all yeah. 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 Thank you for being here tonight. So not only are we going to revive your spirit tonight, we're going to give you the opportunity to revive your spirit, but also we're going to take you deep. We're going to dive down deep into an experience of your beloved. Isn't that right, James? Yeah, we've got to come away for a while. Let us dive in together. That's your cue, James. <laughs> Teach you how 
Take a deep breath in. Relax your shoulders a little bit. Just roll them around. Feel your body. Be present to this moment. Right here. Right now. Because everything that we can ever want or need is right here in this moment, in this place. Because in this moment is where God's grace is known. Grace. Grace. It's freely available to each and every one of us. In every moment, all we have to do is pause and be still and know the grace of God. He makes the rain to fall on the just and the unjust. God's grace is ever pouring out and it's up to us to receive it. The only thing that blocks me from an experience of the grace of God is me. Is me thinking that I don't deserve it. I'm not worthy. Not me. But I'm here to say yes, me, yes, you. Now you can think about God as being the space in this room tonight. The space between you and the person next to you. The space between my words. The space between the beats of your heart. It is from this space that all rises and all goes back to. The thoughts change. The feelings change. The circumstances change. But the space never changes. It's always here. It's always available. So feel yourself surrounded by grace now. Feel it move over you from the top of your head to the tips of your toes. Moving over you, washing over you. Comforting you, letting you know, yes, you are my beloved child in whom I am well pleased. And yet this grace lives within each and every one of us. There's not a single person on this planet that does not carry the grace, the spirit, the life of God within them. As you breathe deeply, feel your heart beat in your chest and know that that is the life of God that is within you. So we can imagine this grace pouring over us, but we can also imagine it welling up from within us. I will give you living water to drink and you will never thirst. It will never run dry. There is a fountain of grace that is within you now. It's just waiting for you to call it for. So this is the closest thing that we'll get to an altar call tonight. <laughs> it's my invitation to you to open yourself to God's grace. To feel it moving over you. To let it well up from within you. With every breath that you take, drink in the grace, the beauty, the life of God. And with every breath that you release, send that grace back out into the universe as a way of saying thank you, God. I am so grateful. So I invite you to prepare yourself now to allow your heart to open and your mind to expand and receive the word of grace. Indwelling Spirit, endow me with your grace. Indwelling Spirit of God, shine through my eyes. Make them soft with kindness, warm with compassion, tender with forgiveness. Let no impatience or condemnation cloud my sight. Let my being radiate contentment, joy, and happiness. Let me shine 
so that the divine shines through me. Indwelling spirit, enrich my voice. Imbue it with healing mellowness that calms troubled waters. Help me to speak every word in a clear, loving, and sincere manner. Let me listen with patience and understanding. Indwelling spirit, endow me with your grace. Let me move through life with wisdom. Let me be thoughtful of others, of their needs, of their dignity, and of their rights. Let us create a world full of love, joy, and beauty. Grace is poured upon your lips. Therefore, God has blessed you forever. Psalm 45, 2.
attached to, oh, it's going to happen. It needs to happen. Why hasn't it happened? Well, what's going on? You know? And I, was, I turned into a big question mark. So you know what I decided to do? Is take that crooked little question mark and turn it into an exclamation point and just receive. Do you have your favorite lazy boy, lazy girl chair? <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, don't you? Where you just lay right back and, and, and you just pull the, the, you know, and you're just laying there and you're just like, oh, yeah. <laughs> and then long before you start speaking in tongues, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the kind of position that I've decided that I want to be in. <laughs> and suddenly, as I stop worrying about it, and I realize I just need to play hard to get. <laughs> Some of you women know what I'm talking about, right? <laughs> you know what I mean? Play hard to get loud. I don't know if I like it or not. <laughs> Let me think about it. Yeah. You're still there? Okay. No. You're still there. <laughs> Detachment. The word forgiveness in the Bible is the idea of totally cutting off a branch of the tree and separating it from the trunk. It is no longer attached. I'm no longer feeding on this. Oh wow! I want to have. I want to have. I want to have. if it happens or not now. <laughs> That's right. There's a scripture in the Old Testament that says that your blessings will chase you down. Right? Surely goodness and mercy shall follow you all the days of your life. Isn't that great? Yeah. And so I've decided, hey, I'm not going to worry about this thing. I've already asked for everything you can ask for. Believe me. <laughs> I haven't asked and asked. I mean, you know, thousands and thousands of prayers. And now it's, I'm no longer asking. I stopped striving so that I can start arriving. I stopped seeking so I could start receiving. You know what? It's a whole lot better to receive. Yeah. Yeah. Because as I learn to receive, see, we in America, we don't know how to receive stuff. You know, we're just kind of like, we work so hard. We don't even work too hard. Hit the person next to you say, you've been working too hard. <laughs> Those busy, busy hands, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. How many know that when you have a closed fist, because you're trying to hang on to things and you're trying to get, 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 you never can get enough. I mean, if you had a billion dollars, it wouldn't be enough. There's a lot of people that are extremely wealthy and they're still not happy. Amen. It's not about the money. It's about the position spiritual heart and being. And when you can lay prostrate and just let it all go. So I don't care if my vision ever happens, if I never get healed, I ain't worried about it. It's not my job. The little mind can't do it. I'm turning it over to the higher mind. Yeah, the higher mind knows how to get me what I need when I need it. And you know what? Immediately I just started seeing things happen. I said, oh, well, that's nice, thanks. Thank you. Okay. <coughs> I'm, I'm grateful. Very happy. And wow, there's just something that happens when you get still inside. When you really get still. Thank you.
begins to change. It's Now we'll come back into the room, open our eyes when you're ready.
and we will rejoice awake and alert. And alive, very alive. Do you feel alive? I feel really alive. You want to stand up? You can. Stretch out a little bit.
Divine love. Divine. 